Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is Sunday, April 12th, 2020. And um, this is just an update on um, the siege situation where I'm held semi-hostage and just little bits and pieces about my day. Um, <clears throat> so for those of you who don't know me or have seen these videos, um, the deep state has armed a gang of youths with highly dangerous experimental electromagnetic chemical weapons and provide them an unlimited budget from Raytheon uh, where they order a whole range of, of horrible toxins that, and they have wall penetrating visual devices. So um, these weapons can be shot up through underground bunkers where they are. Um, they can pinpoint target any area of my body and um, they have chemicals like radium, which is a highly, highly dangerous isotope. They have something like nitroglycerin, which is also very volatile and unstable. And um, I just learned this morning um, that they're now shooting at me with the same kind of chemicals that they use in fracking. And needless to say, um, I'm amazed at how resilient I am, um, that, you know, they're, they're trying to uh, remote control me into being their uh, remotely viewed prostitute, and I've been resisting for years now. And um, they uh, went rogue, uh, the deep state, I I've been posting and, and whistleblowing on social media, and the deep state got so embarrassed they stopped uh, funding them, and uh, so now they're starving and, and dying in these underground bunkers of a myriad of illnesses and um, are inc incredibly emaciated. I, I can overhear the conversations, so um, I've learned a lot. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, their favorite target continues this week to be my face and head. Um, it, you know, m you can see my hair is all shriveled up um, as a reaction to the chemicals. And um, the hole, the big hole that was in my cheek here, fortunately healed up, but they're still shooting. And I've got my special bed tonight clay mixture that I'm constantly, you know, washing with baking soda water, uh, putting on um, uh, moisturizing oils, and then um, slathering on um, this this bentonite clay mixture, and it's it's working pretty well for me. <clears throat> and um, even though it's, this is all incredibly painful, and uh, they're shooting at my cheeks right now, so my face might start freezing up. Um, it c creates extreme tightening of the skin and, um, and some paralysis in my cheeks, so I might st start having difficulty speaking. So uh, what else? Um, this uh, period of isolation, I I've been having to do this anyway because of the situation I'm in. Um, they make it extremely difficult for me to, to get out and, and gather provisions, and they continue shooting at me um, re remotely. Uh, I think uh, they, I've overheard them say that they have both a, a drone and that they use um, cell towers um, to, uh, to assault me um, as I do things like go to the store and, and shop. And uh, so, uh, needless to say, it's even more isolating um, now with the pandemic. And um, I'm having a hard time. Um, in my entire family um, has gaslighted and, and abandoned me um, during my plight. And uh, certain members of them um, have out, outright colluded in my being funneled into uh, trafficking rings. And um, nevertheless, I, I tried to reach out to one relative who, who didn't seem like she was in the cabal of evildoers in my family and um, seemed like one of the more reasonable ones, but um, it seems like there's a conflict of interest there. So I am um, bereft of any support from, from family and uh, you know don't have uh, friends because of this condition that I've, I've had to endure. I've been a targeted individual for 12 years now and for the past seven, um, a, a range of, of poisons and, and chemicals have been used to um, try to drive me insane, to maim me, to murder me. Um, and now for the past two years, um, this gang um, trying to, to sex traffic me. And uh, so anyway, um, that's, 
Oh, and I just, you know, and the, and the undercover police are constantly talking to them um, in the underground bunkers. And at times I've felt like maybe they were um, sincerely uh, supporting and trying to rescue me. Uh, nobody does anything um, like going in and, and physically removing the gang. And um, how the heck do they still keep getting chemicals through when they're under siege? And I overhear that if they walk out, they'll get arrested. But they still get chemicals brought into them to shoot at me. So what's the deal with that? Um, I hear a lot of complimentary things um, through the underground uh, speakers of law enforcement talking to them. Uh, I, I believe they're, for the most part, genuinely sincere and want, wanting to get the gang out, out now because I constantly hear them say how embarrassing the situation is. Um, but um, today I heard an undercover cop say um, she has the gift of heresy and she should be six feet underground. So um, is there a good cop, bad cop thing happening here where they're, the police are trying to manipulate me into believing that some of them are genuinely on my side? Or is there in fact a riff um, in um, the Eugene Police Department, um, Sheriff's Office and, and other agencies where people sincerely uh, laud me as a, as a leader and a change maker um, for the good in the world? Um, I just, there's no way I can know for sure. I get gaslighted when I call the Eugene non-emergency number. Um, I, I believe some of those callers are sincerely sorry for my plight, but they have orders to pretend like I'm a crazy person. So they're really shooting at me with this stuff right now. So my, you can might be able to see my skin is really tightening, tightening up, and it's you know really hard to to speak through through the poison. And uh, so. Um, I, again, appreciate all of you um, who pass by in, in the street and, and in, indicate to me that um, you are in solidarity with me and understand what's going on. Um, I really appreciate that. I wish you safety and, and uh, uh, you know, may you walk safe and, and be free, everyone who's listening to this and, and cares. Okay, I'll sign off for now. Um, thanks for listening and caring. Bye.